Hi friends, welcome back to Beccarelli's Books. Today I've got these two cutie journals to show you. Uh, I've just made these ones over the last few days. Uh, they are very similar, obviously, <laughs> but uh, different sizes, just slightly different sizes because I've made these ones out of uh, packaging, like cookie boxes and... Um, like cracker boxes. So we'll start with the dark one. I made this one first. So to make the cover, I have just um, cut the cookie box to size and made my overlap spine that I've showed you in previous videos. If you haven't seen it, um, have a look and uh, at some of my previous videos. Um, I'll probably show you again in another one. <laughs> um, and then I've done four signatures, covered the cover in this beautiful gingham fabric, stitched around the edges, used some crinkled um, seam binding as the closure. And I have these um, beautiful little girl images. And I've just done some border on this one, and this one's got some rickrack. So let's get into it. So these are in a retro theme. I've used lots of printed doilies. And there's lots of little bits and bobs in here. This is wallpaper. I've used some of this trim to cover up the join where the uh, book folds because there is a gap on the lining so that they fold nicely. Uh, I've used these little accents here where I've taken a square of um, paper and rounded one edge and folded it over the top. I really like this for these kinds of journals because they kind of replicate a, um, a tablecloth, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here is a little piece of ephemera from 1960. I thought that was really cute to put in there for those dresses. And the bows, the bow here is made out of um, bias binding, like bias tape that you put on the edges of things. And I thought that that colour looked really nice with this um, wallpaper. I've used some of the pages out of um, the Home Decorator magazine that I have. Um, yeah, it's about curtains and window treatments. So I really like the images. I've used lots of um, doilies, printables from Amity Bloom and my own as well. Just some little, um, this is a cross stitch pattern. There's some, uh, these are replica pages, but I've had these for a while and I thought that they looked really nice in here. Some interesting bits of information that I haven't covered up. I've had these cards for a while uh, and I really like the colours and this the theme goes. So I've used these throughout. Uh, this is just cut out of a magazine I think. Use a recipe page from a magazine. I've just thought I'll just fold it up. Oop, I think I folded it wrong. Hang on. Let me just pop that in that pocket there. I've done lots of edges with some scrapbooking paper that I thought looked really nice to give the pages some stability. I've done some, just some really simple journaling cards on some cardstock with some pretty images. This is a little booklet. 
just hung that over the top of the pocket. Here are some more little bits of ephemera. Just a little collage with some die cuts. This is a doily uh, that I have and I've just photocopied it and cut out the corner piece used it as a pocket. I love that. There's another journaling card. This is deli paper that I've used to extend this page and I've glued it but it does still have a bit of a crinkle. I have these little girls. I bought these a long time ago. They're um, die cuts. I have had to trim them out again because they did have a quite a big white border around them but I really love them. Just had this little flag die cut that I popped on there. More doilies. Here is a flash card in a pocket. More of these girls. I made some banners. More with this trim as well. I love this little crochet trim. And then I'm kind of in on a few pages I've made them kind of match and this has just got lots of little bits of ephemera in here. Here I've made a pocket and just popped a little piece of scrapbook paper that I've stitched to tag tap a topper on, sorry. More of this magazine, more of this um, decorator magazine. Oh. There's another pocket made with a doily and there's just some writing paper and journaling card in there. I've used the doily the same as I've done those um, other over the top things just for some interest little cut out of a lady this is a page from an old thesaurus there's another pocket and then I've got a little banner on a paper clip and an advert uh, a sign like a pricing sign advert little bow Another little pocket here with some um, little bits of ephemera and just some little decorations here and there. And then the last signature, I've got this layout. I liked the colours from this page so I've continue it, continued it with the decorations there. little banner and this I love these colors uh, this is from an old children's book and this is a playing card that's so cute I thought they looked really good together and then I've just stuck this um, advert sticker on that page another flash card in there a little pocket and again with the little tablecloth type thing whoops and another little pocket with a couple of cute cute little journaling cards or tea cards and then the last page is just a little image of the little girl painting her dollhouse with her brother and that's the end of that one. So this one will be called Gingham Girl Junk Journal Dark Blue. This one is not in my shop just yet. That's coming. But this one is already in my shop and it's called Gingham Girl Light Blue. 
Gingham Girl Junk Journal Light Blue. So this one is the same. I've made it out of a cookie box or some other kind of box. I can't remember which one I used. I saved them all. <laughs> and then this one I've used this, a similar image. And it's um, these are really, these are like cardstock. So they're very sturdy. And this one's really cute. It's got um, pages from an old recipe book and some cute little journaling cards this one I've done like a little tip in so uh, a banner on a paper clip with just a little journaling card under there more of the um, this one is more like a baby, baby cot sheet material. It's paper, but it's, um, the print is like baby cot sheets. Here's a little flip down with a pocket. So I did this because I didn't want to lose the recipe for the ice cream raspberry tartlets, but... I also wanted to add something else so I thought if I did a little pocket with a flip up that would allow me to use this beautiful paper that I wanted to add here we've got a pocket with a journaling card and I've used one of my little cats that I use very sparingly because I love them so much <laughs> and I've sort of matched the gingham here with this lady. Here we've got a fold out. So lots of journaling space there. Another one of these little girls. A little doily pocket with a journaling card. Love this paper. It's beautiful. The strawberries. More of this green bias binding more recipes another one of these little corner pockets that I've used I have this doily so I'm thinking that I'm going to do a digital with a whole bunch of pockets um, from the doilies that I have collected because I think that they're great that was a, a really nice um, addition to these books I think I really like them We've just got a little tuck spot here. Another little doily edge. This is a little pull out. And I've used some of my coffee dyed paper in here. This is a paper clip just a little hidden paper clip that you can slide over the top of any page another little doily pocket love the red and then this cute little journaling tag Here's another one of these girls as a journaling card inside this little pocket. There's a tomato chutney recipe, cherry jam, little pocket here with some ladies. And I've also used some pages out of this kid's book. It's um, like a word voc um, vocabulary book. And I did a double pocket here with the doilies. Some cute cards. Oh yeah, and I had these little bottle cap stickers from the era. I thought they were cute. It's a little fold out.
I've also used some old uh, atlas pages as well. There's a little pocket with a little booklet. Lots of journaling space in there too. There's some um, a journaling card in a little pocket using that paper again. Another little banner. It's another pocket with some nice colourful journaling cards in there. The banner. Doily. Some little accents here and there. is really pretty doilies from Amity Bloom and same with these edges. Again another banner. A little journaling card. And here's one of these little flip out things. And that idea comes from Johanna. Um, cloth and she she came up with this idea and I really love it and I happen to have the same book that she was using as well so there you go there's these two very cute little junk journals that are for sale in my shop at Beccarelli on Etsy Beccarelli's books and the link will be in the description I hope that you'll go and have a look if you're interested and I'll be back with some more crafty videos soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.